Hey, what's up, guys? NGH here. Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. We have Watford away from home to kick off this episode. And then we have the dreaded game against Bayern. Although we've already qualified in the Champions League, it will all be about who wins on that day to win the group. So first, let's play against Watford. We do have a development update on Firpo. He is 85 rated, and that will be it for this season. Not too bad for a backup left back, is he? I really like him, by the way. And actually, sometimes I think maybe I should put Tierney as a left centre back so I can get Firpo in on that left side as a left wing back, maybe. But of course, there's no real rush to use Firpo when we've got someone as good as Tierney. And typically, I quite like playing four at the back in FIFA 21. I will mix it up every now and again. But now it's time for Saar to play against his old club. Although we have the Bayern game in three days. So maybe it's not a great idea to be playing our first team players against a team that are literally bottom of the league. They are 20th in the league right now. So I'm fully expecting some of my other players to come in and do a good enough job. So we will take Saar out at least Maybe bring him on in the second half late on. I don't know. Martinelli will come in, though. Luca Bacchio, should we continue with him up top? He's had some good games recently. Got a hat-trick not too long ago. I'm actually... I'm going to go with Nelson. I want to get Nelson in for this one. I'm going to bring in Saka. I'm going to bring in Suchek and Genduzi. And then at the back, we'll go with Maitland-Niles, Saliba, Canate, Firpo... And we'll leave Leno in. Look, you don't need to sub out your keeper ever. Sometimes I like to do that in other competitions, but we'll, we'll keep Leno in for this one. Yeah, it, it, it just feels like goalkeepers don't need to be rested in FIFA. They never seem to really lose any stats, any, any fitness. So, yeah, there's no real reason to do that. The only player here that isn't... Actually, no, Canate is as well. Uh, the only players here that aren't actually in the plus, you know, the, the plus green stats. We've got a minus one on Nelson and a minus three on Canate because of the zero sharpness. I mean, Nelson's got 26. That's not too bad. We will simulate this one. It is against bottom of the league. We should be winning this game. And actually, I would have liked to have seen a pass through there for Luca Bacchio. Instead, though, we found our way in on the right side. It's come out here to Suchek. This is good play. Go on. Oh, my God. And Saka scores in eight minutes. This guy, I love him at Cam. I love Saka at Cam. I think it's his best position. Or in a 4-3-3 as a central midfielder, that also works. I think his shooting lets him down as a winger. Um, yeah, if you, if you cut in from the right, for example, I don't feel confident shooting with Saka. But at Cam, it seems to do quite well. His shooting is fine. You know, it, it doesn't seem to affect him as much. But here we go again, and oh my god, Luca Bacchio, how are you not scoring there? It should be 2-0. It could be still 2-0. Here we go. Oh, we've still got it. Watford can't get the ball. It is 2-0, Luca Bacchio. Easy. Let's have a look at the stats here. We've had 81% of the ball and five shots. That is ridiculous. And it's 3-0. Luca Bacchio again. Guys, it's game over. 3-0. Within 28 minutes, jumped to result, and it stayed with just three goals for Arsenal. They did score in the second half cleverly with a 65th minute goal. Sabozlai, I guess, missed a penalty, I think that means, in the 83rd minute. So it could have been more, but of course, a 3-1 win. We're going to take that. I don't get this, man. And Didi plays pretty much every single game. I drop him for one match because he's that good. He's 89 rated. You don't need to be playing against Watford, mate. And then he gets angry. He's saying, I'm going to have to consider my future here if I don't start more regularly. What the hell? It's crazy. You're still in contention. You're still in the first team all the time. It's mad, isn't it? That, that system can be a little bit frustrating. But here we go, guys. The game against Bayern. I said it was the dreaded game, but it's not actually. I'm quite looking forward to this. We've both got 13 points. It literally is going to be the winner wins the group and will hopefully get somewhat an easier draw in the next stage. But if I lose, who knows, maybe I'll still get a nice draw. For this one, we are going to bring in Saar as a striker and Martinelli will play on the left side. Otherwise, this is the team we're going to be using. And Didi comes back in. I hope you're happy. You know, I, I, I like Saliba a lot, but I'm still playing Ndidi more at the moment. I, I can't believe he's unhappy. He better get happy quick because it's ridiculous. Winner takes it all here at the Allianz Arena. Kimmich is captain. Neuer's in goal. 
Fabian, is he playing left back again? There's Philip Lahm, what a legend. Yeah, last time we played them, they had Fabian as a left back. Let's just go ahead and double check. And I know some people still don't understand why I don't just watch the lineups. Sometimes you get a copyright strike. The YouTube system thinks it's a real game. It's great, isn't it? Um, they are playing Maya Leader at left back. Who the hell is that? Can't be the Maya Leader, the young French player. I think that might be a regen or a new gen. Um... But at least this time, Fabian's playing at right back instead of left back. And they've got Davies at right mid. What is going on? Why? It makes no sense to me. You've got one of the best left backs in the game. Probably the best left back in the game at this point. Or actually, maybe Tierney? Who do you think's rated higher? Tierney or Alfonso Davies? Either way, they're playing him at right mid. I mean, he can play there. He used to play as a, a winger, didn't he? Back in... Um, was it what? Who, who did he play for? Was it Whitecaps? I'm actually not 100% sure. But um, yeah, interesting decision there from Bayern to play one of their best players out of position. But I guess it can still work. Here's Sabozlai. Inside for Saar. Okay, this is a good start. See if we can find something here. Okay, this is good. Martinelli. Sabozlai. Chip the keeper. Okay, win the header. Win the header. Damn it. Okay, we're going to get a corner. Wait, what? That's not a corner. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, it's a good start. That's not good. Here is Davies in behind Tierney. Left back versus left back. Oh, my God, he's done me. He has done me there. He decided not to cross it. No surprise there, right? Eh? It's FIFA 21. They still haven't patched that. So dumb, it really is. And look at this. It's just ended up being played backwards. It's kind of like watching Arsenal in real life. That buy-in moment there where they just pass it around, around the back, around the side of the middle of the pitch and then pass it back. Oh, it's so boring. Um, did that just say Sane got a hat-trick in his last game? Okay, well, he's in good form then. And that's not a great free kick. Oh, nice. Oh, what? How did I not keep that? Come on, Partey. Oh, no, here's Sane. Bellerin needs to get back into position. They pass it back inside. Here's Declan Rice. We almost signed him. I'm glad we didn't in the end. Suchek has been absolutely phenomenal. Oh, no. I think that's going out. Okay. I'll tell you what. Bayern are starting to warm into this game a little bit. But still, at this point, we're in control. I think. I feel like we're in control. Yeah. He's done it. He's got in. Finish it. Get in there. Oh, that was close. The little one, too. I didn't think we'd pull it, pull it off. I, I honestly thought the pass wouldn't make it. But no, this is what Sabozla is able to do. Even though he's quite tall and physical, he's not a very small guy. He is still so quick. Such an explosive player. Once he gets running, he really does get running. He's got in behind two very good defenders. And Neuer planted. Can't do anything about it. 1-0. We have the advantage. We're approaching the 40th minute. And that has been the only shot on target in this game. That goal I just scored. I think that's quite hilarious. Here's Saar. Let's try and make it two shots on target. Our Put it through for Martinelli. No. That wasn't the pass I should have gone for. Maybe I should be a little bit more patient there and just play it backwards. But I, I just... I want to play proper entertaining football after watching Arsenal every week. You know? <laughs> Here's Pepe into Saar. And go around the right side. Go on. Smack it. Well, that's entertaining football. Look at that. Oh, my God. I think, I think we're good, guys. I don't see us conceding three goals. And I think a draw would be enough. I believe we will still win the, the group with a draw. Maybe not, actually. I'm not 100% sure on that. That quick little turn is so overpowered. Don't sprint until you literally turn. You sprint out of the turn. And then you just get that huge amount of pace difference from the defender who just can't react. Especially a six foot five defender like Schuller. With his low balance agility, he was done for. There was no way he could recover. 2-0. And that is going to be the end of the first half. This has been a dream start to the game. I'm pretty sure we're going to win the group stage. And hopefully because of that, we will play against a smaller, less quality side in the next stage. But obviously, it doesn't really matter in the long run. If I want to win this competition, I've got to keep playing the best and beat the best. There's been a lot of goals in the other game in our group. Look at that. Two all. They have both got one point each in this group stage. That's hilarious. It's been a very, 
Very dominant display from us and Bayern. But what are you expecting? RB Salzburg and Genk never really had a chance, did they? Although they put up some good fights, you know, when we played against them. It wasn't completely one way every single game. Even though we still managed to get 13 points from five games. The only draw we've had so far is against Bayern. So I'm glad that this time around we, we do seem to be favourites to win this game. 2-0 up with just over 30 minutes left. Here's Pepe. Come on then, let's go. Sabozlai. No, we're going to play it inside for Saar. And now Sabozlai back post. Rugani. Okay. In the right place at the right time there. And that's not good at all. That really is not good. Davies is through. I'm going to bring out the keeper. Don't foul him. Why didn't you continue to chase that? What are you doing, Leno? Okay, luckily Ndidi got back. And now the corner's coming in. In fact, I'm going to make a change now, although I think he started the animation so he won't get the players on. I'm going to take off Sabozlai. He's been brilliant, but I want to give Smith Rowe some game time. So we're going to throw him in. I'm also going to go ahead and bring in... Jeez, they're all a little bit... They're actually more tired than our current players. I'm going to bring in Suchek because I've really enjoyed using him recently. So we'll throw him in with Partey. And yeah, we're not going to get him on just yet. There he is, Suchek. So good. And now Smith Rowe in for Saar. What a ball that is. Oh my God. Who needs Meza Ozil when you've got Smith Rowe? Go on. No, it's not for him. Yes, Smith Rowe. Ah, oh, he's missed. No way. Ah, oh, so close. I love Smith Rowe. Honestly, I've been so impressed with him in the Europa League when he's played. I really hope he gets more game time for Arsenal. I probably won't use him too much in this final season with Arsenal. But every now and again, in a situation like this, it's just fun to bring on a player like that. He's the only player in my team that doesn't have a real face. That's kind of annoying, but I'm looking past it because it's Smith Rowe. Okay, he's a Hale End Academy, Academy product, and I think he's got a massive future at Arsenal, even if the club doesn't have a massive future. <laughs> Here he is again. Put it through. Martinelli. Oh, my God, come on. 3-0. Go on, chip him. Yes, yes, no. Smith Rowe. Yes. 3-0. <laughs> and Smith Rowe does score. That is unbelievable. That would be his Champions League debut, I believe. Have I used him in the Champions League in this series before? I can't remember doing so. Maybe in the Europa League. I'm pretty sure I used him a couple of times, but not in the Champions League. So this is a debut goal for Smith Rowe. 3-0 against Bayern, and now they make two changes. Marlon coming on, and who else? Well, it doesn't matter, but they've just... That's a bad decision. Why would they wait so long? They've got Davies in midfield now. What? Interesting. Well, this is definitely game over. Um, we just ride it out, keep a clean sheet if we can, and maybe get a fourth. Look at this. Bayern have a lot of players forward. I don't blame them. This is an embarrassing loss at the moment. They need to get one goal, but it's over. We are through in first place. Ultimately, Bayern aren't really that... Oh, my God, I'm in my full kit. Bayern aren't that worse off. They're still going to beat whoever they come against in the next stage. But I've got a feeling we're going to get, I don't know, maybe a French team. Hmm. Let's see who the options are. We have Dortmund and Inter going through. Liverpool and Roma going through. Barcelona, PSG. Atletico Madrid, Lazio. Manchester United, Sevilla. Man City, Frankfurt. Us and Bayern. And then Real Madrid, Anderlecht. So we will be playing any of these teams that finished in second place. So Anderlecht, not Bayern. Frankfurt, Sevilla, Lazio, PSG, Roma or Inter. Um... I mean, I said we're going to get a French team. Wouldn't it be typical that we got PSG out of these options? I wouldn't mind Lazio, Sevilla. I think Frankfurt would be a good one for us. But ideally, we get Anderlecht. That would be quite an easy win, I would say. But you never know. I mustn't underestimate whoever we get. I've, I've got a feeling we're going to get PSG or Roma. That's, that's my thinking. If we get Roma, I will try and get a mod so we get their real kits, real badge, real name and stuff like that. Now, before we go into our next game, I want to see what rating Davies is. Tierney is now 90 rated. I've got a feeling Davies will be 88, maybe. Let's have a look. 86! Mate, you're a peasant compared to Tierney. 
Unbelievable stats, though. I would still take Davies, don't get me wrong. I would probably convert him to a right winger, though. Can you imagine how good he would be? Although his shooting is only 67, so that would be similar to what I was saying about Saka. I feel like wingers in this game need good shooting because if you want to curl in those finesse shots, you know, anything under 70 just isn't going to cut it. So that's interesting. Tierney is four ratings higher than Davies. I think he's probably the highest rated left back in the game then. Has he got better shooting though? That would be hilarious. He does. He has 72 shooting. I could play Tierney as a right winger and arguably he would do a better job than Davies. How ridiculous is that? Look at his stats. What is this? 90 rated Tierney basically playing as a 95 right now. He is one of the highest rated players. He is the second highest rated player along with Partey. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Well, technically fourth because you've got Leno and Pepe on 91. Oh, my God. I didn't realise he'd overtaken Bellerin. He is unreal. I love Tierney. Looking at the calendar, we've got some interesting matches coming up. We do have Sheffield United at home. We've got Millwall in the Carabao Cup. Then we have Leicester at home. That could be a, a little bit of a tricky one. Southampton away. Brighton at home and then Aston Villa away. So a couple of games here that I would 100 expect, 100% expect the win. But maybe, you know, with Leicester, you, you never know. They could turn up and Aston Villa, they've been a tricky side. They've got some really good players in this career mode. Zielinski's in there. Lozano, oh, it's ridiculous. And it turns out Liverpool lost their last game. Where is their result? They lost 1-0 to Southampton. Wow. Okay, Southampton doing us a massive favour there because winning against Watford has put us level on points with them. We've got three teams on 37 points after 16 games. It really is going to be a tight season once again. I've got a feeling that Liverpool and City are going to take it right to the end with us. Obviously, we've already won the Premier League and that's great. And the main focus is the Champions League. But of course, I would love to win this competition again. We've conceded eight goals. That is incredible compared to 35 by Watford. Jesus. Uh, and also, we've only drawn four. Actually, that's quite high, isn't it? Liverpool have only drawn one. 11 wins, though. Scoring 35. I mean, it's been a good season so far. Very good. Once again, we are changing players up because why not? I don't need to be playing the first team. I'll keep Ndidi in there. Uh, because obviously he's a little bit unhappy at the moment. And we will also leave Leno in there. So we're going to go with Luka Bakio up top. Saka and Nelson on the wings. Genduzzi's going to be captain. Smith Rowe at Cam. He's going to get a start. Suchek's in there as well. Fear Poconate and Didi. Maitland Niles and Leno. Again, we're playing a team that's right down there. We have Sheffield United in 18th place, I think it was, or 17th. So we are going to simulate this one. It's a home game. This should be three points. Easy. I think it's crazy what's going on in the uh, the Premier League right now with Sheffield United. They've still got a point, haven't they, from the uh, the first, is it 13 games now? What's happened to them? Second season syndrome. It really is a thing. They have struggled so much. I can't believe at one point last season, people were almost expecting them to get into Europe by the halfway mark. And now, next season... They're down at the bottom, but Smith Rowe is piling on the misery for Sheffield United. We are 1-0 up after 15 minutes. Come on, Smith Rowe. Let's see some more. Or we could just concede. Mitrovic is playing for Sheffield United. The clean sheet is gone. That was poor defending. There was many, many attempts to tackle the ball, it seemed like, and none of them were successful. I'm feeling confident we're still going to win this, though. Oh, no. Oh, my. What is going on? Why are we losing 2-1 to Sheffield United? No, let's let's not do that. What are the stats right now? Oh, my God. We've only had one shot. Are you kidding me? Oh, hello. We're in, though. Luca Bacchio. Oh, my God. Guys, I've got a feeling it's going to be another one of those games. If we get to the 60th minute and we're still losing, I will make three changes and I will jump into this match. Because, no, we, we are not losing against Sheffield United. Come on. Luca Bacchio. Go on. Come on, Genduzzi. Oh, my God. This is frustrating. This is so frustrating to watch. It's like watching Arsenal real life. This is why I don't like football at the moment. Look at this. What is going on? Two shots. Three shots in total. And they've all been goals. Okay, then. Um, I'm going to make changes now. I guess Smith Rowe should probably come off. No, he scored. I'm going to keep him on. 
I'm going to take off Nelson and bring in Martinelli. I mean, look at the game changes we've got. Awa can come in for Suchek, I guess. Why not? And Pepe on the right instead of Saka. Mm, could go Pepe up front. Let's just do it. Why not? Let's go into the second half. They've got 15 minutes to impress me. Do something. Come on, win the ball. Get forward. Just get a tackle in, please, Saka. We're actually letting them dominate the ball. Here we go. Go on, Smith Rowe. Okay, Saka into Genduzi. Back to Saka. Now what? You're not going to cross it, so you'll play it back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come on. No way. Okay, guys, I'm jumping in. I, I will take this corner. Let's see if we can make a difference here with 30 minutes left. Come on. Corner comes in. Firpo's there, but that is a solid header out. Let's take this back into the center. Ball into the box. Go on. No way. Alwa was in and he was going to score, wasn't he? Oh, I can't believe they intercepted that. They've got a free kick. We're running out of time and I've barely even touched the ball. Come on, Matt. What are you doing? Can't even select the right player. Yes, Genduzi. Nope. Nope. Okay. This game's a write-off, apparently. Mitrovic has a hat-trick. I cannot believe this. <laughs> maybe it isn't the CPU either. Maybe just, in general, this game was written in the stars. We were going to lose this one. Can't believe it. Nice. Nice. Awa. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Ten minutes. Let's step it up. Try and rescue a point. That will do. Considering how bad this has been. One more goal and I will somewhat be happy. Not happy. But you know what I mean. I'll be content with that. But if we score one now on this attack, we could win it. We could get one right after. Because they are there for the taking. We can do it. We've got some of my best players on the pitch. Saka into Pepe. Come on, Awa. Yes. Awa. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. How do you pick it up? I've forgotten how to pick it up. There we go. Let's go. Five minutes. Holy crap. This is it. Awa having the game of his life. We need to win the ball back and get forward one last time. Here is Mitrovic. He will get him out of the match for sure unless we win this. Come on. No, I've lost it. Yes, Genduzi. No, I've lost it again. I know what's going to happen. We're going to get on the attack in the dying moments and the referee's going to blow his whistle as soon as I'm about to shoot. Something like that is going to happen. Two minutes. This is it. This is actually it. We'll give that to Saka. Come on. What a terrible first touch. We'll play on. Don't you dare blow the whistle. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Pepe. Damn. We'll get a draw. 3 all against Sheffield United. My God. And of course, Liverpool got a win. 2-0 against Aston Villa. So once again, we will be going behind in uh, second place. Unless we've gone down to third. I'm just going to go ahead and double check that. Premier League, we are in third, yeah, because City won. Great. Um, well, the good news is they've got Tottenham up next. Tottenham, could you maybe not bottle it for once and maybe beat Man City for us or at least get a draw? Liverpool have Brighton, so they're going to win that. And we have Leicester. I thought Leicester were higher than they are. They're actually down in 12th, so that should be winnable. But now we have a quarterfinal against Millwall. Um, man, can we get Richarlison back already? I'm really missing having my main striker. Luka Bakio has stepped up. He's done okay. But yeah, we are starting to really miss him. And there's Luka Bakio. He wants to play. He will play in this one. Well, that wasn't meant to happen. Um, genuinely, I just made a massive mistake. I was going to team selection, you know, to change the team up. I accidentally quick simmed with the first team. I was going to simulate this anyway, of course, because it's Millwall in the uh, Carabao Cup that no one cares about. But yeah, I've now just played a full 90 minutes with my first team when I really shouldn't have. But hey, Pepe got a double. We're winning 2-0. We're, we're through. Going into the game against Leicester, it's not too bad, actually. Everyone is ready to play. Looking at the Leicester probable lineup, they've got Ansu Fati in there. They've got uh, Canales, who was a nightmare last time we played against Leicester. For some reason, he's just seriously quick. I have no idea why. Henderson, Cavalio. Okay, we should be winning this game. We're going with the first team. 
I've got to say, it's one of the strangest midfield threes I've seen in career mode for a long time. Henderson. Oh, that's a foul on Henderson. Okay. I barely done anything, man. I breathed on his neck. But imagine having Henderson, William Cavalio, and Canales as your midfield three. It's a real strange one, isn't it? But clearly, they've spent a lot of money to put it together. And like I said before, Canales has been insane every time I've played against Leicester. I'm pretty sure he isn't actually that quick. But whenever I play against him, he seems to have just an insane amount of pace. And he just breaks through the middle every single game. But so far, so good in this game. Here's Kenny. Oh, no. Here's Jose Perez. Come on, get a tackle in there. Come on. No way. Was he offside? He wasn't even offside. And there it is. Canales causing trouble. Here is Ndidi. Can't help himself getting forward into that midfield position every now and again against his old club. Here is Saar to Pepe. Oh, I thought about giving it to Luca Bacchio, but I think he was offside. And now the chance has gone. And Leicester are going to break again. I'm running back with Tierney. Just covering that run, which could just annihilate my defence. If they put it in behind, even without Vardy, I'm still worried about Leicester putting the ball in behind. Look at that. They've dominated this game. However, they do not have a superstar. Are you ready for this? Put it in behind. Here he goes. Go on. Just run around him. Oh, wow. Um, okay. That wasn't meant to happen. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. Not a single shot on target for me in this first half. Not a single shot, let alone one on target. Oh, my God. Get the ball out, Gabriel. No. No way. Right before half time. Uh, they don't have a superstar. They've got Ansu Fati. He's a fantastic player. And now we're 1-0 down. What is that from Gabriel? I'm there just trying to get rid of it. And he's just staring at the ball like, go on then, take it. Take it. Go on. And then Ansu Fati isn't going to miss from there. This is turning into another very, very bad game for us. And you know the rules. When we play this badly, switch it up. We're going three at the back with... Well, effectively, it's five at the back, really. But we'll go with Bellerin on the right. We'll go with Tierney on the left. I don't have Firpo on the bench. Okay. My main idea is now scrapped. Um, we'll bring in Saliba. Uh, Partey, Auer, Saar, Luka Bakio and Pepe, I guess that works. I might bring in Suchek, to be fair, because he has been just a game changer for us. We've also got Martinelli. Oh, what do I do? Luka Bakio has not done anything in this game, but he could very easily just pop up with something. I might leave it for now. So it's just one change in the team. And that is Saliba coming in. Who did I take off again? Saboslai, wasn't it? Yeah. See, that's just unfortunate, but this, this system doesn't have a cam. And I don't want to play him on the left, so unfortunately, he is the, the sacrifice. And just to make sure that we do push forward, I'm going to put on attacking fullbacks. So Bellerin and Tierney do get forward. Why are we sitting so deep, though? Look how deep Ndidi and Saliba are there. Push forward a bit, lads. Come on. Oh, here we go. Bellerin's on the right. Okay. Back post for Saar. Oh, it's kind of worked. Oh, 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 oh. He's still going. Oh, Luca Bacchio. God damn it. Leicester, give me a sniff. I need a chance. Are you joking? What is going on with my defence today? Slide in. Yes, indeed. You recovered well, at least. Oh, my. Gabrielle is having an absolute stinker. What am I... Normally, Sabozlai would be there, and yeah, just, this is, I'm all over the place, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my, absolutely all over the place. I don't know what's wrong. I'm going to make another change. Luca Bacchio is coming off. Martinelli comes on, and then we swap them around like that. Maybe Awa, bring him off and bring in Saka. Someone that can carry the ball forward a little bit more quickly than Awa can. Awa's a great player, obviously. He's very good at carrying the ball forward, but he's not very quick. So we'll change it up. Saka can come in. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. 2-0. Oh, this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Henderson whips it in. Completely. Well, not unmarked, but he didn't really have any pressure on him until the last second. And then 
It's 2 0. Great. Game over. Finally. Finally. What a ball that is from Saka. And Saar finishes it. Okay. Maybe again we can rescue a point. I can't lose this really. I mean, I guess Liverpool and City have tough ish games. No, Liverpool didn't have a tough game, did they? So they're going to be six points clear if I lose. I need to find another goal. At least then I get a point. It's something. We've got five minutes to do that, though. Leicester have dominated possession this entire game. They just keep the ball so well. It's game. It is game over. We will not be rescuing a point against Leicester. I called it, didn't I? When we looked at the calendar, I said, I bet you Leicester, that'll be a tough one. They could turn up. Yep, we've lost. 2-1 at home. Fantastic. Yeah, so if you don't enjoy watching Arsenal in real life, you're not going to enjoy it much more here either, it seems. Well, we've got some mixed news. We've got some good news and some bad news. It seems like we do have Richarlison back from injury. Okay, that's good. That is definitely a good thing. The bad news is we are now third in the table by five points. Chelsea one point behind us. But in other good news, we do have a couple of players. Can I find it? Should be there. There it is. Look at that. Defender shortlist. We've got... Tierney and Gabriel in the top team of the year defenders. That's really, really quite good. But obviously means nothing at this point because we're not winning anything. We're not even first in the league anymore. Okay, Southampton at the, what's it called? St. Mary Stadium. That will be the first game of the next episode, guys. Where are they? They're 14th. I love how it tells you now. 14th in the league. And uh, after that, we'll be finishing the, uh, the rest of the month and going into January. I wonder if we will need to make any changes to the squad. I don't think so, but maybe something will pop up. Maybe a player will... Maybe we'll have an offer come in for a player that isn't being used too much. And we... Uh, I don't know. Okay, things can happen, but maybe not. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like rating and I will see you in the next one tomorrow at 7pm.